Peoria area Congressman Aaron Schock. The vice president, as you just heard, announced today he's going to deliver the task force recommendations for legislation on Tuesday. Unfortunately, we had another public shooting today. Have you had any input with the task force? What do you want to see changed in all of this? Well, I have not, and I'm glad that uh, the president says he's going to send uh, suggested legislative changes. We have been hearing that the, the vice president might recommend and the president may do something through executive order, which I think would be uh, any attempt to end run Congress, I think, would be uh, fly in the face of, of uh, our constitutional responsibility as a legislative body. Um, I think a couple things. First of all, um, a lot has been focused around the weapons and the guns, and, and while I think that's an important discussion for us to have, the one thing our country has not been willing to talk about uh, is the mental health issues mm -hmm. that these young people have suffered from. Whether you look at the tragedies in Columbine or you look at the most recent tragedy in Connecticut, these are young people who have serious, serious mental health issues, uh, and clearly we're not doing a good job as a country treating that. It's a much harder issue to legislate. It has a lot to do more with funding uh, and, and what kind of systems are in place to be able to put people in types of care against their will, which right now is not allowed. I've had a lot of folks who have mentally challenged folks in their family contact me and mm -hmm. say, Aaron, this is a problem. Here yeah. are the stories from our family where we've tried to deal with, with our, our, our kids in particular who have these type of mental uh, illnesses. Um, beyond that, I think there's a discussion to be had about, you know, what, what kind of, uh, obviously we don't allow for, you know, bazookas in our country for, for individuals, mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's a delicate balance. You start limiting people's ability to, to buy firearms and before you know it, uh, pe people's Second Amendments are infringed upon. So uh, I think it's a, it's a discussion we need to have. We're going to have it on Capitol Hill. But the other thing that nobody seems to be talking about that, that I've been bringing up in the meetings out in Washington is let's talk about our, our mental health strategy yeah. so that we can, we can really get to the root of the problem. There is no system in, in place in Illinois, I know that. Now, moving back last week, you and members of Congress voted on this fiscal cliff deal. Um, there are now ads popping up here in central Illinois from the Jobs and Progress Fund talking about your vote, saying that, in essence, you approved massive tax increases. I understand now recently, today, this afternoon, you have asked to have that ad pulled. Right. Why? Well, a couple things. First of all, uh, when you make decisions in Congress and you have a voting record, you're always going to get attacked. I'm fine for getting attacked uh, on my, my voting record. What I'm not fine with is people misrepresenting my voting record. Uh, I have never voted for a tax increase. Uh, the, the bill that, that passed that was a bipartisan vote uh, was the second largest tax cut uh, in modern history. Uh, the Congressional Budget Office and the Joint Committee on Tax both scored it as a $3.9 trillion tax cut. It codified into law 99% uh, of what the 01 and 03 rates were mm -hmm. that were passed under President Bush. Uh, it raised taxes on no one. Um, on January 1 of this year, everybody's taxes went up, and they would have stayed up had that bill not passed. Uh, second, um, the bill itself was not a perfect bill. Uh, I would like to have seen significant spending cuts in the bill. I would like to have seen some entitlement changes in the bill. But the end of the day was uh, we were not going to get a, a grand deal, a big bargain. Mm -hmm. uh, the president seemed fine with us going over the cliff. And I didn't feel in good conscience that while we talk about the need to cut spending, we're going to hold everybody hostage with high taxes right now. That is only going to further hurt our economy, which is why there was an overwhelming number of Democrats and Republicans that voted for what was a good bill, but not a perfect bill. All right, and quickly, there are always rumors about you, especially your political aspirations. Have you decided if you're going to make a run for governor in 2014? Um, I have not, and um, I was down yesterday uh, visiting some of my old friends in the State House and State Senate. Uh, they all got sworn in yesterday, mm -hmm. so a new legislative session. Uh, and I'm watching with great interest uh, if they're going to do anything on pensions. That's the big you know, the yeah. big problem we've got to deal with in this state that's uh, that's driving our state towards bankruptcy, quite frankly. Well, if you ever want to make an announcement, I know where to come, come Ashley. Come here. Thanks. Right. Thanks. Good to be with you. Here.